Alrighty, so the next thing that we're going to do now is we're going to play and make a battleship game. So I've done this in other, um, like, normally kind of MATLAB, just kind of like text space, but we're going to do it in App Designer. Except I have to spell App Designer right. Okay, so App Designer is going to pop up, and we're going to start with, in theory, if we can get it over there, a blank app. So um, it's just going to be the thingy where you click the boxes and it's like you hit or miss. Okay, and we're going to start off super straightforward and then maybe make it more complicated. So I'm just going to start off with some buttons. And if you super care about getting the buttons like perfectly sized, I think you can go in and like do this uh, width and height. So I can put them both at 78 just so they match. So that's down here under position. If you click there, you can change it. So now it's a perfect square in case that matters to you. Um, this is button by definition button, so I'm going to just copy paste. So I've got button two and button three. Now if at any point you don't have them lined up, you can select all three and then you can go align, middle, and then they'll be good. So I'm just going to make a four by three matrix for my stroopies, stadoops, and stadoops. And I like how I did this because I think this is going to line them up all right. So I'm going to call this app button um, one just to make them all the same. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm checking the numbers over here. Seven, eight, nine, and then should be 10, 11, and 12. Perfect. Okay. So just to make things easy, I'm going to pre-label my buttons um, for the purposes of testing. So I'm going to call this one one. Please don't change the names over here zero. Oh good, it didn't change it. Um, zero. So one is going to be where there's a ship, and one of them is going to be where there's not a ship. And I'm going to kind of do this, oopsies, manually, but the idea is, of course, you know, I can make this all fancy and eventually do it with like a whole lot of them. But um, right now I'm just going to be like preload the answer so I can test it. Okay, so essentially what I want to happen is um, I'm going to make a callback and I'm gonna say, create this callback here. And um, basically I wanna say, okay, if app.button1.value, value, text, is it text? Yeah, text. So if you start typing and it fills it in, that means you did it right. Otherwise it means you're doing something wrong. Um, if it equals one, and I think it's gonna automatically realize that it's a number instead of a string, but we'll find out because if it does, it'll yell at us. Doesn't it'll yell at us. So then if it's um, a hit, I want to change the background. See how it fills in? That's how I know I did it right. I want to change the background color to yellow. Um, otherwise, I want to change button one background color to red. Okay, let's just see if this works. Okay, so I'm going to hit this and it turns red, even though it's a hit, so it should probably be yellow, which means that what's probably happening is it's reading it as a text of one, and I think that the new MATLAB is okay with this, so let me do this. It keeps popping up on my other screen. One, yay, it's yellow. Okay, it works. Um, and for funsies, I can go ahead and I can change this value to zero just to make sure it does it right for zero, and I'm going to run it again, and I'm going to put it back over here. And it's red. Yay, it works. Okay. Now, I could take this information and I could put it into every single button. However, if I decide I want to change it since blah, 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 instead of being yellow and I'm going to make it like putrid orange or something, then I'd have to change it, you know, 12 times or even more if it's a bigger field. So what I want to do is basically take this information here and I want to put it into a function but generalize it. So the way you do this over here is you can go to functions, here I'm gonna, functions, and I'm gonna call it check button. Um, and it's not gonna have any results, nothing's gonna come out of it, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, so what I wanna send it, so app you automatically have to send it, but I also wanna tell it which button. So the input is gonna be this button. So two tubes, I'm going to cut that and I'm going to paste this here. Um, remember that you can select all of this however you want and either click Control I or right click Smart and Dip to fix it. So um, what I'm going to do now is instead of having something be 
app button one dot text, I'll call it this button, and app button one dot background this button, this button, like that. So now when I call the function, I'm going to call check button. See how it automatically pops up, and it needs an, the word app, and then I'm going to tell it app dot button one. So I'm sending it button one. Um, it's not actually using app. I might not even need this. Um, so consider replacing it by tilde. I don't know about that. I'm just going to let it be unhappy for a minute. Um, so I'm going to run this and see if it works. Yay! Okay. So in theory, what I can do is I can take this. Now there's probably a shortcut to um, telling it, look at this. Actually, let's see what happens if I delete the app. I'm just going to kind of be crazy. No, 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 no. I think I'm going to want it. I'm going to leave it because I'm afraid I'm going to get too crazy, you know? So let's just see what happens if I add this code to each one of my check button two. And I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to watch me hit copy and paste a bunch. Okay, so that's done. And um, now we're going to run it. And just to be sure, anything I click on with the yellow versus red. Perfect. Yay, it works. I'm super happy. Okay, now in my code view, all this is kind of messed up because of the copy paste. I'm just going to select all, control A, and then smart indent, and it'll fix everything and make it pretty. So, oh no, what did I do? I made it. Okay, <laughs> I didn't do anything. I just scared myself. Okay, now, so one of the things we can do, so we kind of have this functioning. Um, a couple of things we could also do that would be pretty straightforward is that once you click the button, it doesn't let you click it again. That's a pretty easy thing to do. Um, if you look at, like if you click on a button, you'll see that one of the interactivity things is enable. There's also visible. We don't want to make it go away, but we'll um, disable it. So what we could say is this button dot enable. And it's not going to auto pop up because it doesn't know, it's already forgotten what this is. So I've got to spell enable, right? And we're going to turn it to off. And again, I'm going to suppress this. So whenever I run this again, now every time I click the button, it should, now I can't click it anymore. Okay? So that's kind of nice. Let's see. Um, what else can I do? Well, um, we could keep track of whether or not we're winning, I guess. Um, that would be something useful to know. And probably the easiest way to do this is to kind of keep track at the beginning of the game um, where all of the ships are. So um, I'm going to add a property that says, like, um, all the ships. And um, kind of thinking about the, the way that I ordered it, um, it was one, zero, zero, and then the, I'm not going to make this um, a matrix. I'm just going to make it an array to make it a little bit easier. One, zero, zero, but I'm going to space it out so I can think about what I'm doing, and zero, zero, one. So that corresponds to one, zero, zero, da, 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 da. But instead of actually making it a matrix, I'm just going to leave it like this. So now what you should see is there's app dot all the ships. Okay. So as long as, so I guess what I'll do is every time I hit a ship, I'll change that value to zero. So what I could say is um, app dot all the ships, perfect. At the, oh, well, whatever this location is, um, this location, <laughs> which I don't know, <laughs> is going to be zero. Now that's not very helpful because I don't know what this location is. So I need to add that as a um, input to my function. So see, I'm using app now because I'm adjusting that. So this location for each one of these would be one, two, um, three, etc. OK, so I added that to all of them. So now, in theory, um, you're not going to see anything happen, especially because I suppressed it. So maybe what I should do is I'm going to do the sum of all the ships. And I'm just going to post it to my uh, regular command window. Sum of app dot all the ships. 
So that'll just print. So I'm going to have this in the background and click here. So now there's three ships left. That's unfortunate. Did I not? Oh, I did zero, zero, 001. Now there's two. Okay, I put it in wrong. Okay, hold on. Let me fix that for realsies. Okay, so it's zero, 011. One. There we go. You were like, I saw that like five minutes ago. Oh my God. So now if I come over here and I look at my MATLAB, let me see, I'll see it. Um, if I've got this, there's four left. There's three, two, one, none left. So this would be a place to go like, you win. And that would be great. <laughs> um, so I could put in like a little uh, thing that says like, well, if, um, all the sum is equal to zero, then I would tell people you win. Now again, this is a very like, what do you call it, like a very brute for force method way to do this. I'm just putting this together so you can put together kind of a little fun game in like 15, 20 minutes or however long just to kind of see, you know, how it works. So um, let's put in some text that says, um, you know, fire away like that or something like that, you know, whatever you want it to say, and I'll make it bigger, okay? And um, this is called Fireway Label, I'll call it, that's fine, I don't care what it's called. So I'll say something like, if the sum of all the ships is equal to zero, then I'm going to change Fireway Label, the text, see how it, oh, I love how it auto-populates, and you just hit tab every time to make it go and I can make it say you win or something like that um, and then I feel like I should turn off all the other buttons but that just seems like I don't know I mean I could do that I could just disable all the other buttons probably in some kind of a loop but right now I'm too lazy to figure that out and we'll just pretend so um, again I can go here and I can see <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Apparently did not work. Fire away. Um, oh, because I did plus sign. <laughs> Let's see if it works now. Okay, so to do, 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 you win. Okay, it's still going to let me press buttons, but that's okay. Okay, now you might be like, well, what if I don't want um, to know in advance, or what if I want to change this? So we could do, let me see, I'm trying to remember exactly what it is. I think it's Rand I. 0 to 1, and I want a 1 by 12. Does that give it to me? Nope. That's 1 to blah, blah, blah. So 0 to... I'll just do rand and round. I'll do a 1 by 12 and round it. So these will not be um, straight um, what's he does it? So you could go through and you could like set something up where in the opening function that you change the values of all those, um, what do you call it, of all of those buttons to one or zero based on randomizing that. Um, other things that you could do, and, and if you're going to do that, I think you'd need to do something a little bit more sophisticated than manually typing all these in. So like I said, we're really just doing this to get a feeling for it. Um, if you wanted to make it like this but kind of leave it as a mis mystery, you could change, instead of deleting the text, you could change the color of the text to the same thing that this is. So copy, paste. See now all the text is invisible. So I can't tell what it is anymore. Um, so it changes to zero apparently. And I guess the one is there and I just can't see it. Um, so you could, I guess, change the text. If the text is one, you can change it to yellow and then change the text to nothing so you can't see it anymore, and then maybe it won't show up. And I think this is about as complicated as we're going to make this video, because there's like so much more you can do with it, and I just, I mean, it could just do infinite stuff, but the, the rand would be a good way. So you can kind of see the one while I hold it, and then you can't see it anymore, and for the purposes of what we're doing, it's fine. Mostly I just wanted to show you how you can play around with functions and a little bit on the um, properties and kind of play with it. So. Um, a lot more you could do with it. I hope you have fun.